Welcome back. <clears throat> We're going to do a second exercise to see if you remember everything we did <laughs> in the last couple lessons. And in this one, we are going to have a penguin. It's going to be standing next to a table facing it. The penguin is going to start flapping its wings and moving up in the air. Um, he's going to move one meter above the height of the table. So there's a little function there and a little math. Then he's going to move um, over the table. And then he's going to move down a meter and land on the table. And then he'll stop flapping his wings. Cool. So we're going to use some functions and some math. Okay. Um, the answer to this, that now you should try this on your own, as I've instructed in my class. But if you need help, you want to, you're stuck or you're finished and you want to compare, well, let's go. Ooh, the cinnamon rolls are done in my house. Oh, bet you wish you were here. Okay, so let's start out. Let's get a table and a penguin. Let's add some objects. And here we are in the furniture section. Here's a nice table. Pop it in there. And let's get ourselves one of those nice penguins. The penguins are nice because they're little. They have a little custom wing flap method. Okay, penguin, you're looking good there. Let's go behind the table. And what about there? That looks good. Okay. As you know, let's hit done. The first thing that's going to happen is the penguin is going to go up in the air, move forward and go down. And that's the first thing. That's all of it. But he's going to do all of this while his wings are flapping. So... I am thinking, let's let's get his wings flapping first. Um, see the wing flap? All right, let's bring that in there. And we'll just say, I don't know, flap five times. Now, what I'd like to do is we want him flapping during the whole exercise. So let's do this. Let's bring in the do together uh, tile, and we'll bring in the penguin flapping, and we'll drop it in there. Sound good. Now, um, now everything else he's going to do, he's going to do in sequence. He's going to do it in order. So let's go back to our do in order tile. Let's drag that up, put it inside. So you can see what's going to happen here. He's going to do those three things, fly up, fly forward, fly down, while he's flapping his wings. Okay, and we're just going to we're just going to do this the, the wing part the easy way. We'll just see how many wing wing flaps it takes to get there, and then we'll turn it tell it to stop because <laughs> we're not quite that advanced yet. Well, we can do you know make this automatic. Okay, so the first thing he's going to do is go up. All right, that's easy. Math penguin move. Put it in the do in order. He's going to go up. Now remember, he's going to go up one meter higher than the table. So let's put it in that one meter, but you know, this isn't just one meter, it's one meter plus the height of the table. So, and you know where we find that, right? Actually, let's, uh, oh, how should we do this? Um, he's going to go up, and then let's do the math first. He's going to go up, he's going to go one plus the height of the table. So click on that little drop down, math plus. And we don't have that function yet, so just, th just throw one in there. Okay, so one plus one. Now we got to change the second one to the height of the table. So I'll click on table, click on function, and let's find a table's height. Good. Drag it in. Very nice. Okay, let's play it. It goes up to the height of the table. And he keeps flapping, so we have extra flaps, so let's do the next thing. He's going to move forward the distance to the table. Okay, so let's go back to our penguin object. And let's have him use the method move, right? Penguin, move. He's actually flying, but we're calling it moving. He's going forward. And he's going to go the distance to the table, so... Let's just put a 1 in there as a placeholder. It's going to move forward. Let's get the function 
distance to table. All right, proximity, penguin, distance to. Very good. Drag it in, get rid of that one. Distance to what? Distance to table. Oh, th this isn't so bad. See? Let's hit the play button. Up he goes. Looking good. All right. Now, last, he's going to go down. Now, this is easy. He's going to go down exactly one meter, right? Because he's one plus the height of the table. This way, he lands perfectly on the table. There's no guessing he's not going to go halfway in and look like he, you know, did a Star Trek transport halfway through or something. He's going to land right on the table. It's going to be beautiful. So, penguin method, move. So, he's going to move down one meter. Now, the only thing we don't know is if he's flapping his wings enough. So let's test it and see. Go, penguin. We could probably give him one more flap. Let's have him flap his wings six times. Play it. Up. Go, penguin. Oh, that's beautiful. The only thing it needs now is, like, music and maybe a little dialogue box and maybe a piano falling on him or something. Oh, that wouldn't be nice, would it? Okay, so uh, good work.